Hi folks, I'm making this video to sort of float an idea by all of you. And uh, if you're in favor of the idea, which I'll describe in just a second, please hit the like button. If enough people like this video, I'll go ahead and follow through. So let me preface um, the discussion of the idea by talking about uh, the video that I made yesterday. Yesterday I talked about the fact that um, several online companies seem to be taking advantage of the COVID-19 crisis and uh, in my opinion, unreasonably upping their prices for their laptops. Uh, and we, we focused on uh, Walmart in the video yesterday, but to be quite honest, uh, I've seen it at other places too. Uh, for example, we talked yesterday about Walmart's um, Asus VivoBook 15, the 14-inch HP that comes with the 10th generation i3, and the Lenovo IdeaPad S340. Now, none of these machines compete directly with each other, but they're all sort of in the, usually, in the you know, high 200s to uh, almost $400 range. But as we saw yesterday, um, the price of each of these has gone up on Walmart. The HP only went up around three and a third percent, but the Lenovo IdeaPad went up by over 12 and a half percent, and the Azus Vivo Book 15 went up by 16 and a half percent. So here's my idea. Looking around right now, I think that good, affordable, decent bargains on laptops are in short supply. So I'm thinking about actually making a series of videos based on buying a refurbished ThinkPad X270 and then walking everybody through the steps to upgrade it. Um, now hear me out. I know you hear refurbished and you think, I'm not so sure I want to go that, that route. Well, the X270 is considered an Ultrabook, and it came out about three years ago. Now, these things are usually bought by businesses, and if you've watched any videos on this channel, you know that I'm really in favor of Lenovo's. Um, this is a smallish uh, uh, ThinkPad. Uh, that is, it's got a 12.5 inch screen, and um, it comes with, this was the first sort of uh, edition of the X200 series that came with USB-C charging, um, it also comes with, you know, backwards compatible USB-A slots. It's got an SD slot. Um, the other nice thing about these machines is that um, up until the X270, uh, everything was upgradable. You can upgrade, well, not the processor, but you can upgrade the RAM. You can upgrade the storage. There's a couple of choices about storage. Um, and to be honest, I've always liked the keyboard on the uh, ThinkPad line. The X270 uh, has a wonderful keyboard. Um, it does have this little uh, track point thing, which acts as a sort of mouse nub, if you want to use that, or it's got a trackpad down here. Um, now, you know, to be honest, it, it's not to everybody's taste to use the, the little uh, eraser point, uh, track point, but um, their trackpads are pretty decent. Um, they do have um, a uh, fingerprint scanner on this. And versions of this that are selling on eBay, which I'll show in just a second, um, go from a 6th Gen i5 up to a 7th Gen i7, um, and in some cases can even include a touchscreen. Now, um, anyways, as I was saying, these machines first came out a little bit more than three years ago. A lot of them got bought by businesses. As a matter of fact, a lot of them got leased by businesses. And so what we're going to see now and for the next couple of years going forward is a lot of these things coming off of leases. They've been taken really good care of and um, they're professionally refurbished and then sold on places like eBay or through third-party vendors on the web. So this is one of the in my opinion, one of the best quality laptops you can get. This thing new sold for the $800 to $900 price range um, as it comes configured. But right now, if you look on eBay, you can see um, um, third-party refurbished ones, so refurbished by uh, third parties that are authorized to do so by Lenovo, are selling for, now $322.95 is about the, the lowest price I've seen. Um, and every now and then you will see right, sponsored ads come up at the top. But um, $369, you know, $399 is pretty typical. So somewhere between three dollars to $400, first, we could get into a laptop that's still a good value. Right? To be honest, um, computer processors have not gotten much faster in the past five to six years. The battery life has gotten better, but one of the other nice things about this X270 is it has both an internal built-in battery, but it also has a, an external, I don't know if they show it here, they probably don't, it also has an external battery that you can take off and put on, 
Um, and it even comes with extended batteries that have a little bit bigger bulk. I think this thing can last up to 20 hours on a battery life. So actually the battery life on this is better uh, with the right battery than the newer X280 that came out very recently which does not have a removable battery. So I like the keyboard. Um, I like the form factor. Um, it is a little bit bulkier. You know, if you're looking at like a, a, a MacBook Air or something like that, this is thicker than that, but it's going to stand up, right? This has, a, a, I think it's a magnesium based um, uh, chassis. It's sturdy. Um, it has lots of connectivity points. And um, like I said, um, the default screen. I don't mind it. It's a 1333 by 768 or whatever, so it, it's not considered, you know, one of the the highest resolution screens. But the X270 also did come out with 1920 times 1080 um, um, HD screens, so you can find uh, your choice. I actually prefer the lower resolution because it makes the icons bigger and a little bit easier to see, to be honest, by default. Um, but so here's my idea. Um, and if you're interested in this, and you're not committing, I'm not going to hold you to it, but if you're interested in seeing me, get an X270, open it up, show you where the parts would go, and then um, walk with me through, maybe Amazon, looking for a hard drive to put in this thing, for an SSD drive to put in this thing, for upgraded memory. So one of the really nice things about this is that um, um, even though Lenovo doesn't say this on their website, uh, you can put up to 32 gig worth of RAM on a single uh, uh, RAM uh, chip or RAM uh, uh, stick, if you will, um, in these things. Um, you can put a, a SSD and a, um, a hard drive in it. So you get lots of storage, you get a fast boot on an SSD, um, you'll have lots of RAM. Uh, and like I said, these, these uh, fifth and in some cases, um, uh, sorry, sixth I meant and in some cases uh, seventh gen um, uh, chips that they've got in these things are almost as fast as the ones they have today um, they just uh, you know use a little bit more battery and that can be uh, remedied by putting a bigger battery on this thing those things are also sold by by third-party vendors on Amazon so if you're interested and you'd like to and I, I'll actually would actually start with going through and looking at the ones that were available on eBay and um, commenting on what the different you know aspects are for instance this one is an i5 um, it's running a 2.3 500 gigabyte probably tells me that that thing has a, a hard drive in it not an SSD and it says it has no OS now I'd want to look at the feedback from this guy because no OS means I don't know how much it's been tested but I have looked at the feedback from this guy that's selling it and he's actually got a, a fairly good reputation so you know I'd probably be willing to go for that one to get it for 322 but also if we um, you know decided to go with one of these others um, it's uh, a little bit, let's see, faster i5, um, also has a 500 gig RAM, also has, might, might be the same guy as a matter of fact. Um, this one, 256 gig, I suspect that's an SSD, we could look at the details, but the point is, is I would walk through and, and help you choose one, and then once we got it, we'd uh, open it up, look at the back, and I'd show you where the parts go, then we'd go on Amazon, um, I'd make recommendations in terms of these are the parts we're going to get, um, I'd order them, you guys could order them with me, and then when they came in, I'd make other videos showing myself opening up the back, installing the new parts, showing how to, for instance, back up the hard drive so uh, you can just slot the new SSD straight in and everything. But if you're interested, if you'd like to see something like that, please go ahead and hit the like button. And as always, uh, if this has been a helpful video and you like the channel, please uh, subscribe. Take care.